Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I have for you another Harry Potter Summer 2020 set speed build and review. And today we will be speed building set number 75967 Forbidden Forest Umbridge's Encounter. This set has two bags and two instruction manuals, which is actually pretty funny. I didn't realize that until later and it is weird. Every package has its own instruction manual, which is pretty great I guess. So with the first pack you build the tree and with the second pack you build the giant crop. Um, this set is taken from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix with Umbridge going into... with Umbridge leading Harry and Hermione into the forest and they are getting rescued by the centaurs and crop. And for me personally, this was one of the sets that I am I wasn't really going to pick up, but I decided after building the room of requirements that I did need this set mostly because of the Umbridge minifigure because I was really excited once I built the room of requirements that they had those rules. But then I wanted Umbridge as well, because that is from the same movie and I just wanted Umbridge and I didn't have one and this was the only way to get her. So now I have Umbridge which I'm really really excited about. Uh, we will talk about the minifigures a little bit later. So let's start talking about this tree in which I zoomed in way too much and I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well, I'm still learning how to angle these things so if you have any comments or any ideas on how I should do it please let me know because well I'm just trying to figure stuff out video by video now but this tree I am not sure about my feelings it is not really a pretty tree it is also not an ugly tree it's just I don't really see, besides the color and the shape, like there's a lot of things sticking out and even as I'm looking at it now, it's just not, it's not my thing, the tree. Um, I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna pet it down again, um, but the tree is just, I don't, I don't really know. I do like those ones, those little things on the side. But the tree itself is just weird. Um, maybe once I make my actual review, I'll have better feelings about the tree. But at this point, I'm just not sure about it. I did like the building of the giant a lot. Um, also, I already made a mistake at this point, uh, and I'm not gonna realize it until a little bit later. So that was fun. Um, And this is where I figured out that I made a mistake and I couldn't find what it was. But yeah. So this set uses some stickers when it comes to the giant and while I do like the use of the stickers and they are actually on really nice places, it would have been nice to have printed tiles instead. I mean the stickers don't look as bad as they look on the uh, castle pieces and the stickers actually would look kind of nice for personally but it still would have been nice to have just like the face of the giant that is printed. I would have loved it if his legs and torso and stuff were also printed. But this is a great solution for it not being printed, I guess. So within this set we have three minifigures and two extra half minifigures on a horse. Um, those are the centaurs who are half half human, half horse. And I actually do like really like the centaurs minifigures. They have some nice faces. Their hair is 
beautiful it's long and dark and it's actually quite nice it's a nice piece that i will probably be reusing for a couple characters but overall it's just nice i like the harry and hermione i think the harry one is not really exclusive i think it's also in one of the other sets possibly the burrow set but the hermione torso is really really nice also her hair is so beautiful it's getting more and more beautiful now that we go further into the books and the movies because obviously she knows now how to tame her hair either by magic or potions or stuff and it's just looking prettier and prettier and they really put that nice in the minifigures as well and it's just a beautiful piece as for Umbridge, it is the same hairpiece that we get for Aunt Petunia, which I mean it's nice, but it's in a little bit of a different color. It's light brown instead of dark brown, so it's a little bit different, but it's still the same mold. And it's a nice hairpiece. I like it for Umbridge more than I like it for Petunia, but yeah, I guess it would work to use it for both as they're both kind of the same age and and I am almost done with the giant and it was a lot of fun especially the the head of the giant I had so much fun building it so here we have umbridge front and back I really like the details on our shirt with the little cat and the colors are really, really nice here we have Harry with his hoodie and obviously he also has long legs which is just amazing to have them in long legs now because so does Hermione and I really like, really, really like her torso. She's still wearing some Gryffindor but she's wearing a nice sweater over her clothing and it's really nice. And here we have two centaurs. One of them has each face, so we have the front and the back face. And here's an overview of the complete set with the giant and the tree. Giant is fully mobile, you can move pretty much everything, his head, his arms, his legs, his torso. It's just a really nice, simple build and it does the trick. His headpiece is absolutely amazing. I loved constructing his hair and everything, so I had a, really, really, I had a lot of fun with that. And here's a close-up of the tree. I like the spider, I like the top, but the sides I'm just not sure about because I don't really know how to place it and how to display it. That you have it looking nicely because I don't particularly like any side and the tree also has an inside inside we have a little lantern some turkey I guess and a bone and then another piece that I just don't know what it is so if you know please let me know and here's the complete set I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a couple more sets to build. One will be up tomorrow, the day after. Any other ones, I still have to wait to be shipped to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more Harry Potter 2020 sets or any other sets that I may buy in the future. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!